In this problem, we have a wooden crate that has a mass of 23 kilograms and is resting on a wood floor. The coefficient of static friction is 0.58 and the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.4. What pull force is required to get the crate to move and what force is needed to get the crate to maintain a constant velocity? Let's draw all of the force arrows in a free body diagram. First, we have the force that we will be pulling with, which will be marked with a yellow arrow. We then have the normal force from the crate, which is the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. This will be marked with a blue arrow. The floor will be pushing back with an equal and opposite force that is the normal force from the floor, which is marked with a purple arrow. The force pulling on the crate will be counteracted by the force due to static friction, which will be marked with a red arrow. After the static friction is overcome, the crate will start moving, and the pull force will be counteracted by the force due to kinetic friction, which will be marked with a green arrow. On the bottom of the slide, I have a graph that shows what happens as you increase the force from pulling. So at first, the force increases up until the point where you hit the max static frictional force. After we surpass that force, the crate begins to move, and now we are working against the coefficient of kinetic friction force. In most cases, the kinetic friction force is less than the static friction force. Of course, there are exemptions. Now, to get the force needed to overcome static friction, we can take the normal force times the coefficient of static friction to get 130.9 newtons of force for the max static friction. So if the pull force is less than or equal to the static friction, the object will not move. If the pull force is greater than the static friction force, then the object will begin to move. Once the object starts moving, it will be slowed down by the kinetic friction, which can be found by taking the normal force times the coefficient of kinetic friction. Doing so, we are left with the force from kinetic friction of 90.252 newtons. So if the object is moving and the pull force is less than the force due to kinetic friction, the object will decelerate. If the object is moving and the pull force is equal to the force due to kinetic friction, then it will maintain a constant velocity. If the object is moving and the pull force is greater than the force due to kinetic friction, then the object will accelerate. So the force to get the crate to move will be 130.9 newtons, and the force to have it maintain a constant velocity will be 90.252 newtons. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.